scenario based questions plays a very vital role during the interview because a interview always ask some questions related to scenario based questions now here a very important thing is that how you reply all those questions let's say we have just an example or uh, definitely these type of questions they always ask that if there is some ddos attack then how you can mitigate how what will be your plan right so you can read out these things that we can document our ddos resilience plan recognize ddos attack activity and uh, we cannot assume that only raj scale volumetric attacks are the problems right and we can't even rely on the traffic monitoring thresholds and we even ips or firewall and definitely there is a very uh, special thing is that we can we have to engage a, a mitigation provider and pair time to mitigation with sus, uh, successful attack protection so apart from that guys uh, we can uh, we can make one of the scrubbing center to mitigate the ddos attack so now what is that scrubbing center so scrubbing server we can say is one of the dedicated machine that receives all network traffic and uh, it filters all the network traffic in the form of good traffic and bad so generally it passes only the good traffic uh, which is not malicious uh, in respect to uh, these ddos pa uh, packets now number second we have suppose a server is compromised with a malware what is it is steps will you take to secure a server well these are the protections you can take right these are the protection you can take just after before the uh, compromisation of the server right and even after the compromisation of the server but along with that you will have to uh, you know uh, isolate that machine that server machine you will have to isolate that server machine i forgot to mention here those points here you have to isolate it and you have to investigate whether there is something malicious or not if there is something malicious found you will have to you know uh, clear all those things and you will have to check other parts of the network which machines were connected to this server right and you have to clear all those things so once you you get to know all those things then you have to secure uh, again uh, make a secure password you can uh, make new user that you use to manage the system you can remove remove the remote access from default you can configure fire rules for remote access these are the things you can do and uh, after doing these things you can uh, take that uh, server in the in your uh, network uh, one more so uh, uh, this uh, scenario based questions we have suppose there is a no use case for BitTorrent, right there is no alert uh, uh, we have made any use cases uh, for BitTorrent. then how we can analyze the traffic so that is quite very simple we see uh, BitTorrent or you can say peer-to-peer -peer, uh, this software generally works on port number 68812 6889 and sometimes it's 6999 so now what you can do you can check the sim logs right directly and you can filter out the port numbers with the help of port number obviously and you can also check the firewall logs and there also you will you will have to keep the filter uh, with the uh, help of port number and then you will get to know uh, in the in the raw data or you can say the payload that uh, uh, the ip address the url and the port number these things you will get and with the help of these it, that will be very easy to know that whether it's a torrent or not because you once you will search on the google you will get to know that yeah this ip is related to some to something a peer-to-peer -peer connection now let's say a data breach on the network uh, so what is the first thing you do when the attack occurs on the network right so this one is very important one basically they they uh, just ask this question just to know that what action you can take so what was the incident response plan in place or uh, your organization right so investigate the incident that is the first part if the breach is valid then we have to inform the management that's quite very simple and then identify the suspected you know you know the root cause of the incident right so this one uh, we have to find out and then if we get to know yeah something is there malicious and uh, something is affected then we need to isolate that effective system and eradicate the cause of the breach 
then implement policy procedure procedure uh, procedures whatever the things there is there perform period technology audit or risk assessment combined with network penetration testing to identify weakness in the system so that's what pt team uh, comes in the uh, role now how do you keep devices secure uh, if they are on public hotel wi-fi so well uh, the first uh, prescription for this is uh, users should use their own mobile hotspot if they can't use it then just tell to the user that yeah they should connect it with the vpn because once they will connect with vpn every data is going to be encrypted through a uh, and it will communicate through a tunnel so through that it, uh, the uh, communication will be secure so that's it guys and we'll meet in the next video with the uh, roles and responsibilities and same questions which is very important this part is very important